Hello, this is my friend Nick, and he is going to help us learn about the Kramer Abacus. In the Kramer Abacus, beads mean numbers. Okay, so we're going to clear all of the numbers, and now we have zero. I'd like you to realize that there are 13 rods. Okay, mm -hmm. and they are separated by a center bar. The bottom beads are ones and the top beads are considered five beads okay okay um the one bead at the top is the five and the four below are the one beads we can only count the beads when they are against this bar the number zero looks just like this feel that's nothing touching the bar on either side mm -hmm. do you feel this there's nothing touching the bar on either side mm -hmm. We say clear the bar, which means clear everything away from the bar. So is it clear? Yes. Perfect. So we can do setting, counting, and reading numbers at the same time. Right now we're going to count to four. So think about writing the number four. What is in the ones column? Four. Yes, four. Right. All right, so let's count. One, two, two. three. Four. Now, what's the next number in the sequence? Five. Okay, so let's bring down our five and push everything down. What is touching the bar now? Just the, Just the five. five. Good. Let's add one. Six. Six. Another. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. I need to get to ten. What should I do? Where is the tens column? Right here. Okay, so my second column on the bottom, remember the bottom is the ones. Let's mm -hmm. bring up one, which makes ten, mm -hmm. and clear the ones. So now I have ten. A one in the tens, zero in the ones. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I want to add one. I go to my ones column and I add one. And my number is now eleven. Eleven. Let's add three more to 11. 11 plus three equals 14. 14. I want to get to 15 now. Nick, what do I have to do? I want to bring down my five in the ones mm -hmm. and bring down all of the ones. So how much do I have in the tens column? One, One. and a five. And five. Excellent. Let's count to 19. So I've got 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 18 19. 19. The next number, because I don't have any more beads, would be 20. Mm -hmm. I need to add one to my tens column. So I add my one to my tens column, which gives me 20, mm -hmm. and I clear my ones column. Okay, let's set 99, okay? So I need to figure out 99. I need 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in my tens column. How many do I need in my ones column to get to 99? I need a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Great job. Notice that you have 9 in the tens and 9 in the ones, which is 99. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add one more and get to a hundred. Where's my hundreds column? Right here. Okay, so I want to add one to my hundreds column. So I go to the bottom, mm -hmm. bring up my one, and I want zero, zero, one hundred. So I have to clear everything else away from the bar. I now have one hundred. Let's add one hundred and ten. One, one, zero. 110. So I'm going to bring up a 10. No ones. Okay. I would like to add two more. Two ones. Got 110. So I want to make it 112. Yes. So I add two, one, two, which equals 112. Mm -hmm. Nick, I'd like to take away 10 and make 102. Hmm, a hundred and two. So I leave my hundred mm -hmm. 
I take away my 10 mm -hmm. and I have two ones left. How much do I have now? 100 and two. And two. Excellent. It's always important to give lots of practice to students and give them plenty of time to work with the abacus.